How's it going everyone? Nutty New here. I'm a videographer in Anchorage, Alaska. I also shoot weddings and this is my input. If you are getting wedding and preparing your wedding, planning your wedding, doing your homework on your wedding, these are the two vendors you should focus on. Just for record, I have shot weddings from background, backyard weddings to uh, hotels, weddings, venues, high-end venues, etc, etc. So I've seen some venues and I've seen some things, I've experienced some things being a videographer. Being a videographer, you get to pretty much see the whole thing from the bride, prep up, everything, everything. You get like an inside card. So these are the two things you should focus if you're getting married and the two vendors you should really put your money into. If you're in a rush and you have no time to watch this video, let's do it quick. DJ and the food. Okay, let's talk about why you should invest and why these two vendors are so important. First and foremost, <clears throat> some, let's, talk about, let's talk about the food. People love eating. The world lives on food. People eat. People have to eat. Food is very important. There are some venues, uh, for example, let's say a hotel, and they might have a restaurant there too. So sometime, if you if you're renting out the venue, the hotel venue, <coughs> you have to use the restaurant. So you just make sure they have good food, guys, because you want to make sure your guests are fed, and you also want to make sure you also eat good food on your wedding day because a lot of people are gonna go home, or maybe in the next few months, next year, they're gonna think about your wedding. Babe. They're gonna be like, man, they had some really great food, or that steak they had at their wedding was really good. Whatever it is, the food they're gonna remember it. So that's food. Now the other option is you can do catering. All the weddings that I've shot in my experience that have done catering, bomb, B O M B A plus. They're all great food. So don't be scared to do catering, guys, because catering food is no joke. They are some good food, and all the folks, all the catering company that I work with or that I've seen at the weddings that I've been to. They all have amazing food, like from catering, it's really good. Like it's just as good as you're as if you're eating at a high-end restaurant or at a restaurant, vice versa. And the great thing about catering is that all the people that do like the catering company, the, the people that work for the catering, like they all they, they know they all take care of, they take care of their client, they take care of their guests. So everybody that I've done that I've everybody that I've done catering with or that I've seen catering to these weddings, they're all really great. They're professional. They they do great job. They take care of the plates. Make sure make sure the food dishes don't don't doesn't go low. And it, I have not I have nothing but good experience with all the catering company in Alaska. Uh, for the most part, they always do a good job. So that's food, guys. So make sure you invest in food. Uh, make sure you get good food. Take care of your guesses make sure you eat good because this is a day this is your special day this is your wedding you want to eat something good and remember the food that man that salmon we had was good that steak we had was good whatever you're into you know now the next thing is DJ guys DJ 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 let's talk about DJ let's let me give you an example guys let's say you're going out clubbing you're gonna go to a club and let's say you go to the club and the music wasn't popping you know, you, you're, not, you're not getting the vibe, you're not getting the mood because they have a DJ that's on an iPod just playing musical music that's from soundtrack, SoundCloud. That's what a DJ is, guys. So you wouldn't want, you would leave that club, right? You would leave that club. So same thing for weddings in a way, and this is my experience for wedding, guys. <clears throat> invest, in a, invest in a DJ that knows what he or she is doing, know what they're doing, and invest in a DJ that provides value. And what I mean by that is value like as if there's some DJs that just come and spin music, but then there's DJ that provide, um, you know, lighting, like strobe lighting to make it feel like, you know, you're in the club, disco lighting, stuff like that. There's also some DJ that provide drapes. Um, they do drapes and they'll cover up the windows, provide drapes and stuff like that. So that's my experience with DJ. And you want to get a DJ that is willing to work with you you know they'll play the songs you like because you know that's what djs do they'll ask you hey what kind of music do you guys want country music are you guessing to country music or a little bit hip-hop or are we gonna have more like an older older crowd where maybe classical music or slow jam music so get a dj that's gonna work with you um 
have get a DJ that knows what they're doing. And also, guys, when it comes to wedding, during this during the reception party time reception, most of the time your MC, the the person that's doing the MC is the DJ. So you want to get a DJ that knows how to MC the event because MCing the event, MCing your wedding is very important unless you have like a family relative that's really good at speaking and getting people to do things but for the most part i've seen some events where there's nobody's doing the mc the dj's not doing the mc and it's really hard to get people to do things for example let's say the mc's job is you know the dj slash mc their job is to do get things going like hey all right guys get ready seated we're getting ready for the first dance all right, guess we're gonna be doing dinner now. We're gonna call this tip first, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So if you don't have an MC for your wedding or a DJ for your wedding or just an MC in general, the timeline and the flow of your wedding is gonna be very slow and very delayed. You're gonna lose a lot of time, guys, and time is very important because you want to use as much time as you can because it's your wedding, guys. You're you're hiring people for a certain amount of time. You, you only have the venue for a certain amount of time, so. You want to use your time wisely and make sure things are going slowly and smoothly so you guys can get to your party and stuff like that. So a DJ is very important. Don't hire somebody that's not going to do a good job at DJing and they're not good at job at doing MC. And maybe they don't even provide any value to their packages. So make sure you invest in that because also people will come to your wedding your guests will come to your wedding and one other thing they're gonna remember is that the music was good you know we had a fun time dancing the vibe was good etc etc guys those are the two very important thing you you let's talk about you first those are the two things you will remember the food the music the vibe and you know that's this and that's what your guests will remember everything else is kind of you know it's it's just you know minor details but if you guys are getting married if you guys are doing your homework, doing your planning, invest in the DJ and invest in your food. Make sure you get good food and then maybe you can invest in a videographer. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's just a shameless plug. But those are the two things I wanted to just talk about, guys. As a videographer, as a wedding videographer, that is my experience what I have seen. And those are the two tips, two things you should focus on, two vendors you should really focus on if you're doing your homework, your wedding planning. So you guys have any more questions or if you guys would like to see any more tips about weddings or anything in general that what I do filming wedding general general stuff like that please leave it in the comment section below if you don't want to feel like if you don't feel like leaving a public comment feel free to message me shoot me an email I'll be more than happy to talk about that topic so thank you guys so much for watching this video if you guys are new to the channel make sure you guys subscribe for new videos I try to make new videos every day or at least every other day or at least every week but trust me you will see a video on your subscription list at least two three times a month so thank you guys so much i'll see you guys next time bye bye